Dragon's Den stars turn down board game that went on to outsell Monopoly Rachel O went on to prove the dragons wrong on Dragon's Den when they turned down her board game, that went on to outsell Monopoly video loading video unavailable quick to play tap to play the video will auto play soon 8 cancel play now Dragon's Den, Rachel O pitches Destination London in 2004 by Charlotte Everett 15 colon 56, 6th of November 2021 updated 6 16 November 6, 2021 Rachel O has proved the Dragons on Dragon's Den wrong as her board game went on to outsell one of the most popular games. She asked the Dragons for £75,000 but was turned down when she showed them her idea for a board game. Rachel had been in the board game business since 2002 but was turned down as she didn't have much experience with running a business. The entrepreneur was working as a taxi driver, to earn money for her law degree, when she came up with the idea for her game, Destination London. To play the game, players compete as taxi drivers to acquire play money by moving from destination to destination using dice. There was already a planned launched in a London store when she went into Dragon's Den so she thought bagging the £75,000 she needed would be easy. But Duncan Bannatyne pulled Rachel's plan to launch her game in Hamley's apart as he said that she would struggle with sales due to a lack of press surrounding the launch. Dragon Rachel Elna also pointed out that the game would face a huge amount of competition from other games, such as Monopoly, but this ended up not being such a huge problem. Doug Richard seemed to be interested at first as he was asking Rachel about expected profits but she wasn't quite sure on the answer she also got mixed up between gross and net profit as she said the net profit was expected to be £190,000 from £200,000 sales, which financially couldn't be true. Doug was harsh on Rachel as he replied, we can't even have a basic business discussion. It doesn't seem like you've prepared very well. You remind me of a lamb to the slaughter in some ways. But Rachel didn't lose faith in herself she said when she was successful she would be having someone crunch the numbers for her. After expressing their concerns, the dragons decided that they wouldn't be investing. Since not getting on too well in the den, Rachel has definitely turned it around in the business world as she was awarded an MBE for services to business. She also now has a current net worth estimated to be $131 million, 96 million pounds. Rachel launched a new Beano board game at the start of this year to celebrate the 70th anniversary of Dennis the Menace's first appearance. When it was released Rachel said, Beano is an absolute classic with a dedicated fan base around the world. Dennis has one of the most iconic and recognizable faces, the messy black hair and that mischievous grin are what people love the most. I am thrilled to be working with the Beano team to create these new products to celebrate such a wonderful anniversary for a wonderful character. The game took inspiration from the heritage of the Beano which is the longest-running British children's comic magazine follow Mirror Facebook Twitter.